common for the electrical ended up shorting out, losing connection. And so the studio lights don't work because of it. All the wires are now behind drywall, which makes it very difficult to figure out where it goes and where it's shorted out at. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to heat up the wire inside the wall. Hopefully when it heats up, wherever the wire touches or wherever it gets close enough, the drywall should emanate heat. Hopefully this is a diagnostic thing for us to try to figure out where this wire is and where it's shorting out. It's a uh, CPU fan, uh, CPU heat sink, exactly like the one I made. Mm -hmm. And it's even got like a, uh, a fan down here. It's like so it's like, it's literally what I made with a nice fancy case. And I, th I, I like their LED more because mine's a square, this one's a circle. Mm -hmm. So it's like better. And apparently this has been measured perfectly to hit all the sides of this. Oh yeah, no, no, like, to make a perfect this is, this is well engineered, but it is really funny how it is a CPU uh, cooler inside of it. Have you been reading Dothrax for? 999,000. There's no way to amass that number. <laughs> today. Oh, just today? <laughs> but I'm not reading, I'm also drafting. I'm taking an employment contract that I think is good, and I'm trying to infuse this stock document into it. Yeah, that's what's happening. Damn. So I got another fun little uh, tool from FLIR. I think it's called an electric pen. What it is, is a non-contact voltage indicator. What you do is turn on to high sensitivity mode. You can see like right now it's kind of picking up some random stuff. But once I put close to the wall, you can see that it's like going crazy. And if I back up, it stops. And what that means is there's lines inside this wall that have power or AC power to them. Below sensitivity. Oh, there, you literally yeah. have to touch so, it. So right there, I can tell that there's wires right behind the wall. So I'm going to use this tool to take the common that we know runs over to here. And we're going to turn off all other electricity and hook that common into the hop, making it have electricity. Then we can use this tool to go along the wall where we know it's running and see where the current stops running. And since it's the only thing that's on, it'll stop working the second that the wire isn't connected anymore. Hopefully figure out exactly where that spot is. So everyone's away at VidCon. Gabe and I are here by ourselves today and tomorrow, kind of holding down the fort, working. I'm gonna FaceTime them. Well, back to work. Not necessarily a free I'm late. 